Hey guys, what's going on? Frexus Gaming here, and I'm really excited to bring a new series to you. And when I say a new series, this really is a spinoff of an existing one. Um, it wasn't too long ago I'd made a video titled um, Let's Play Skyrim Oblivion Inspired Playthrough. And uh, the idea of that was basically just to explore Skyrim. Find all the nooks and crannies and stuff that you wouldn't normally see since Elysium, I main series that was going on was focusing more on the main quest this was going to focus more on the side quests, and not only that but do more of the modded content from there we went into beyond reach which was a new lands mod we're still doing that series if you haven't checked it out and if you'd like to check it out um it's in the playlist on my channel with that being said though i decided to relaunch this with a new character and keeping the Phyrexis character in Beyond Reach basically just for new lands mods. With that being said, this character, his name is Alistair. And this is going to be a pure mage playthrough. Now when I say pure mage, I'm not going to be a purist on the fact that if I am about to die or if it's just a smarter way of dealing with an enemy would be to hit it with a sword, <laughs> or a bow and arrow, or whatever, or if I run out of magic, then I'm just going to run, because to me that's not fun. But for the primary offense, for the, the tools that I use, I'm going to attempt to do all of that as much as I can, at least, with magic. Now, speaking of magic, I do have hundreds of new spells added, and actually, one of the newest mods that I'd added was Odin, which, uh, in I... E-N-A-I? -E however you pronounce that. Um, he's made tons of mods for the uh, Skyrim community, and he's an amazing mod author, especially when it comes to magic and game changes and stuff. Enough to where you can actually do like a suite, where it's like his version of Skyrim. It's fantastic. But what that mod does is it makes vanilla magic what it should have been. Instead of a calm spell hitting, and it says up to level 7 people will be calm when they hit them, now it's something along the lines of up to level 7 will be calm, but if they're over, this spell has a chance to fail. Before there was just a hard cap and it just wouldn't work, and it made illusion useless at higher levels, as well as some other spells. But enough rambling, the main point of this series is to do interesting NPCs. Now if y'all aren't aware, interesting NPCs adds over 250 fully voiced new NPCs over 25 new followers, over 15 marriage, uh, marriageable NPCs, and over 50 quests. Now these quests, guys, it's not just like a, uh, I go to this cave and get it. It's I more, I've made uh, myself rather clear. Yes. I'm gonna go over here. <laughs> um, it's, it's, it's just more unique. Like even one of them, like you have to go to a family and kill the family to harvest their organs so that you can help a witch turn into a hag raven. That stuff isn't in the base game, guys. It's really creative stuff, and so that's going to be the main point of what I'm going to try to do with this. Now, with that being said, I came across a mod, and I'm really, really excited for it. It's going to make doing the interesting NPCs, at least completing it, a lot easier, and it's called Completionist Quest Tracker. I just came across this, and I believe it was uploaded, like, at the end of February. So, like, it's... Like, it just was uploaded. And what this does, guys, it tracks the quests. And it offers support. So if we click on this for the main quest, a debt of blood. Quest giver. Automatic start after the Aldermary prisoner. Now, with that being said, some of these quests, I will have to do some of the main quests of Skyrim to get them to start. But the main focus will be doing interesting NPCs and other quest mods, but for right now, we're going with interesting NPCs. So, that being said, mage, live another life. Folks back home are right, the college is still taking on new apprentices. Wonderful! The people here seem more than willing to give me a chance to develop my skills, unlike those stuffy old wizards at the Synod. I can't wait to see what this place has to offer. So, I saw first lessons there. Alright, so report to you. Welcome to the college. I'm short. <laughs> Whoop. Another new student. I'm surprised at how many of you there are lately. Well, first you'll need these. 
While you're not required to wear them, you may find them more to your liking than your current clothes. I'll give you a brief tour, and then we'll get you to your first class. Are you ready to begin? I need to adjust that camera. Uh, I'd love to have Wonderful. a Wonderful. Please follow me, and don't wander off. Restoration okay. is a perfectly valid school of magic, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. The prominent feature okay. here is the Hall of the Elements. It's our primary location for lectures, practice sessions, and general meetings. Okay. The Arcanium is located above the Hall, and the Archmage's quarters above that. While technically in charge tell of you college, what. Okay. the Archmage's responsible... <laughs> I get it. I get it. So, this first mod... Our quest from the mod Interesting NPCs, I believe, is going to be in the Arcanium. Uh, let's see if I can find her. Olivia. Confound it all! This page, too! That makes five in total. This is unacceptable! I gotta fix that. <laughs> is something the matter? A page from one of these texts. And four others, torn right from the spine. I've consulted with Urog's apprentice girl, and she insisted, rather emphatically, that none of these tomes have been checked out for years. I told the girl that wouldn't preclude a thief from browsing the cases. The librarian's apprentice does seem a bit daft. I don't blame her, though. It's the head librarian's duty to keep more sensitive texts behind sealed doors. Or perhaps it's the fault of the one who trained him. In either case, the result is the same. It is as I feared. Someone has managed to steal key pages from the writings of Trectus. Trectus. No one will miss a few pages from the works of some nameless scribe. Trectus, the forgotten name of a powerful man, founder of the guild. Trectus, the birth name of the mage, Shalador. Oh, well. Looks like there's more than one option, so I, I really don't know who this is. You need to brush up on your history. Or stop to listen when professors are lecturing. Although I admit, Trevis's voice is its own sleep spell. <laughs> This nameless scribe you speak of is Vanis Galarion, founder of the Mages Guild. Ah. How is it... Yeah, how is it that Master Grove Shub has made such an obvious error? It is not an error. It's far more likely that Urog holds an opposing position regarding the substance of these texts. Not to mention a stubborn refusal to recognize that a controversial theory might actually have merit. What controversial theory do you speak of? The majority of scholars are split between two disparate camps. Some believe the texts are worthless scribbles written by a child, one who had yet to grasp the vastness of his destiny. Others contend that the author is not Vanus himself, but a pretender hoping to profit from the mage's name. Both camps, however, are in agreement that the texts themselves have no intellectual merit. So I search for them, if scholars believe them worthless. There are some, however, who attribute the text to a different origin. Not the young Trictus, but the elder Vanus Galarian. The theory states that Vanus wrote the text in the guise of his younger self, precisely so that scholars would question its authenticity. By diverting the eyes of those who seek power, it provided an extra layer of security in addition to the cryptic nature of the text itself. Let's see. I'm interested in how he encoded his texts. Each book is a cleverly crafted tale that hints towards the ideals of a particular school of magic. Hmm. However, the overall narrative is unimportant. From what I have gathered in my time here, it seems the school of magic is simply a mechanism. For instance, I found lighting a text with an alteration spell revealed a hidden message written in an ink altered to mimic a human soul. Of course, without the knowledge to light the aura of life aglow, the major search would end there. The chain continues until one reaches the destination, 
the final pages that contain detailed notes on the crafting of a new spell. May I see the texts? I'm afraid not. The texts are evidence, and the methods Galarian used to encode the journals must undergo further study. Once I have informed Urog of his omission, he will add the works to this library's collection, along with the missing pages, should they be retrieved. If you have scholarly interest, however, I can share with you the five tales of Galarian's youth. They are quite interesting. Let's see. I really... I'm just going to tell y'all up front, this probably will be a slower playthrough, just because of all the text that is added. But I want to make sure to get everything so that we understand what's going on, and so that we can get the text. As the a young quest. child... Galarian's father bought books from smugglers in order to teach his son how to read. As serfs of a minor nobleman, Lord Janess of Solakik on Kerr, such knowledge was strictly forbidden. Galarian recounted how his father taught him to avert his eyes at every signpost, and to speak with improper diction. Most of all, he warned him not to reference the tales he read, but more importantly, the cities, beasts, and forests contained therein. For the spell would be broken the instant their lord realized the boy knew things his eyes could not see. Hmm. What's the second text? Galerion's mother was an old-fashioned woman, one comfortable with her station. She never wanted to deprive Galerion of knowledge. She was, however, fearful of the consequences. A seed of dread was planted in her mind, and grew into a forest of despair. It was only a matter of time before her husband or her child would slip and betray their literacy. In truth, Lord Jonas suspected nothing, but in her reality, she saw her husband on the gallows, and through her actions, she made it true. Dang. Third text, go. Vanessa's father died from the crime of literacy. He was hung, his body left out for weeks as the sweltering heat bubbled the skin of his fetid corpse. The effigy itself was gruesome, but so was the cruelty of Lord Jeunesse. He forced Galarion to scrub the gallows every day as his father hung lifelessly above him. He held the lessons of his father close to his heart and never spoke an indignant word, no matter how callously the nobleman prodded him. However, if one stayed awake past the dead of night, one could hear the violence echoing from the basement of the servants' quarters. Jeez. As a child, Vanus Galarian escaped his birth home of Solikik on Kerr. He simply crept out of his quarters one night and ran. Don't blame him. He never stopped running. He had trekked halfway across the Somerset Isle when he reached the shores of Alanor. There was nowhere left to run. Exhausted, he collapsed in a ditch. It is there that a band of troubadours found his body, and nursed him back to health. They employed him as an errand boy, and gave him food and shelter, and the life he had seemingly lost was somehow returned to him. Tell me the tale of the fifth and final text in the last School of Magic. Vanus Galarian once ran with a group of troubadours. They performed from city to city, regaling crowds with their song and flair. One of them was a former jester, a man with deft hands. From out of the ether, he would withdraw a bouquet of flowers or a septum from your ear. However, it was the group as a whole who cast a spell on the young boy, drawing a smile that had been lost to the void. Okay, that's enough of the text. As you will. Let's see. Well... What's exactly I mentioned text? the pages from five separate texts were stolen. This is no coincidence. I'm sure you can divine why. You just tell me. It pains me to see a member of the college struggling with such a simple query. Oh, gosh. Are you so daft as to be unaware that there are five schools of magic being taught here? Yes. No. I apologize. The onus is not on the students. But the professors tasked with curing them of their ignorance. <sighs> it is well known that Galarian's gifts for magic were quite diverse. He could restore a rose to full bloom not long after burning it aflame. 
All the while fooling the mind into believing its scent had rotted away. Sounded like a master wizard to me. In other words, the spells involve multiple disciplines. The theory goes that Galarian was on the verge of completing five new spells. One for each school. Spells of such tremendous power that even the immortal armies of Manimarco would countenance their fear. Mm. Unfortunately, Galarian's obsession with his nemesis deprived him of his patience. Nevertheless, before he embarked on the great battle, he left notes encoded in five works, so others could continue his research. Do you have any idea who stole the pages? I have an inkling. I was able to glean some clues based on my interviews of the residents of Winterhold, who seem far more observant of mages than the faculty. I sent my assistant, Jado Ra, to investigate the matter further, but I fear something grave has befallen him. I'll find out what happened to him. There we go. Finally, someone with initiative. Finally, the quest. <laughs> I need someone to scout the area he was investigating. Your safety is paramount. If the mage in question is at the site, do not attempt to confront him, even if Jado Ra is in imminent danger. Why not? The Khajiit is a crafty one. He will leave clues behind even in death. Yet if you sacrifice both your lives, both your efforts will be squandered. All right. I'll see what I can find out. Very well. If you would like to reconsider, I will be here in the meantime. I am afraid, however, that I cannot afford to tarry much longer. Until next time. Until next time. What? What? What are you doing? Why didn't Greetings. That, why didn't that start? Oh my gosh. I haven't... I haven't... I was able... I sent my assistant, Jado Ra... Your safety is paramount. If the... The Khajiit is a crafty one. Good. Jado Ra last left for solitude. But it is unlikely he is still there. I would start with the caverns near the shoreline. If you find him, and find him well, he may ask for a passphrase. If he's working undercover, I can see how a passphrase would be useful. Yes. The problem is, I seem to have forgotten that inscrutable Khajiit word he gave me. So in exchange, I ask you to tell him this. Tell him how, when I met him, I mocked his whiskers, how they were as black as an Imperial's hair. Tell him that his eyes are so narrow, that even when he laughs, he looks unhappy. Yet their color still shines as bright as the sun. And if he finds that too sentimental, tell him he was more valuable as a rug. <laughs> and when he accidentally lights his fur on fire, he would no longer be worth anything to anyone. There we go. Forgotten lore. Search for Jadara in the caverns north of Solitude. Now, does this actually give me, like, a hard map marker? Or... Um, let's see. Forgotten lore. Yeah. Alright, so we need to go to Solitude. Fair enough, fair enough. Okay. Well, like I said, guys, a lot of these dialogues, the characters are more fleshed out. Some people, I know that, that bothers them. That's giving you all just a full warning. Unfortunately, we've had to implement more stringent entry. This procedures. will probably be a slower playthrough. Let's see what um, skills we have. So I want that. See right here. Creatures and people attack randomly for 30 seconds. Chance to fail on targets above level six. So Fury technically can still be useful even at higher levels. It just has a chance to fail. So. With the local... Um, let's see. Novice hood. And... Novice robes of destruction. And also we have it where staves and... potions are, uh, Stronger, you know? So... That's good. Alright. 
But I'm really, really excited to do. No matter what, Can I buy something? The college is an asset to oh Skyrim. Oh my goodness! Even what if it goes unnoticed. Hold on, I gotta, I gotta check something out here. Much knowledge lies within the college's walls. There we go. Uh, how come I can't buy anything from you? I've been looking for you. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. Let's see here. Looks like that's it. Got to go. What was it? Oh, that's um, the Dwimmer Coliseum. Sweet. You must be one of those wizards from the college. I need some spells. I mean, I'm sure that I'll eventually just find some, but let's see. The first place that we really need to go is White Room, or at least somewhere to get stables. So the Closest place. What well, would be the closest place? Probably Dawnstar? Does Dawnstar have a thing? I think they do. I think. Right? Am I crazy? I guess we'll see. But on to the cold, harsh world that is Skyrim. To see what we can find here. Set up this. Uh, we'll do... Three is flames, actually. We'll do four is healing, and we'll do one is fury. There we go. Live on that destruction. When I see a wolf, I need to take advantage of it while it's distracted. Alright. How many goats are there? Jeez. Oh man. That's strange runes, guys. The runes in my hands there. It also casts light, which is pretty helpful. So we will see. We got smooth cam. Which is like a better over the shoulder of like more of like uh let's see who are you? Career. Right. Important deliveries to make. No time for chat. And like we do need to do some leveling on this character. Can't just do all the quests, I don't think. Probably need to train some. I heard wolves. A mall city. Friendly? This is a mod that adds cities. So what do you sell? Anything? What do you got for sale? Take a look. Okay. Absolutely nothing. Take a look. Pitiful. I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Uh. As for the playthrough of like the kind of character that Alistair is going to be, you guys know me. I'm not super into role playing, but I do feel that for this, for just character development and everything else, that there will be some role play required. Feel that way. So, as of right now, I am leaning towards like a an evil mindset. Um, especially like power hungry. I think that that'll go well with the mods that I have installed. But let me know. You know, I mean, if if y'all strictly want me to play like a, a good character I don't mind honestly oh, up there. Oh, okay All right, so far so good nothing too crazy also I'm going to be doing the uh, daedric quests as well I mean I know that kind of falls in like side quests and stuff but interesting NPCs will be the forefront let's see Pretty sure this is. Is this Azura? I think it is. I don't know if we can start it at this point, but we can at least discover it. Yeah, that shrine of Azura. Let's see what's up here, real quick. Ancestral Guardian. There we go. Cool. Alright, yeah, we can't start it yet, but we did learn a new spell. An actual summon. 
it costs a lot of magic. But eventually that will be very helpful. As for some of the magic mods that I do have installed, um, which actually reminds me I completely forgot to install this one, but we'll have Colorful Magic, we'll have Forgotten Magic, Odin, Apocalypse, Arcanium, um, uh, Mythicism? Mythicism? <laughs> That's a tongue twister. And I do apologize on sounding a little bit hoarse. For the past two nights, I've sang for extended periods of time. And it's just kind of done a number on my throat. My vocal cords, so. I don't want to go in the sightless pit right now. Although, up top, I believe there's a conjuration book. Let me see if I'm crazy. Hold on. I'm pretty sure there's like skeletons up here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm all for them skill books. Alright, so as soon as I take something. Yep, that's what I thought. You won't trick me, skeleton. I'm not sure what that's from. I mean, I'll take it to sell it, but, uh... Oh! Oh, shoot. Die, zombie. I think I had Know Your Enemy installed, or something along those lines. Combat, it's it is a little bit harder where you can't just be like hitting stuff and it just die instantly. <laughs> so, oh gosh, is there another one? There is. Oh, I'm gonna look magic. There we go. Take it to sell. Which they were decently generous with the gold starting me out. I want to say I had like 494 gold starting out with this uh, live, live Another Life playthrough here. And you can't tell right now just because it's snowing, but we are using the mythical EMB with the mythical Ages weather mod. So, and in other parts of Skyrim. It'll be very vibrant, very colorful, so kinda like oblivion. Come here, wolf. Okay. So far, a piece of cake. Alright. This is our biggest challenge yet. How to get down. <laughs> really could use like some feather fall just for safety measures okay oh dang dude all right I hear that little oblivion level up sound that's good Let's go you can sell this stuff at least Ooh, what was that a skyforge steel ring uh, no enchantments or anything on it. We can sell it though. I honestly don't think there's a horse at Dawnstar, guys. I, just, I don't know yet if I want to venture across all the lands and just trying to get the white run, because at that point we might as well just go to get everything that we need. Okay, let's just make sure that he's working. Okay. That's that uh, combat gameplay overhaul. I can at least dodge things, so. Let's see. Some tower over here. Hmm. Frostflow Lighthouse. Is this locked or something? What's, what's in here? I've actually never been in here. Sadly enough, I can't tell you if it's modded or not. A lot of new stuff, so. Oh, well, this 
This looks promising. Um, cellar door expert, expert. I don't have any lock picks. Dead bodies, yeah. Find the source of the murders. Oh gosh, alright. Now, is this... That's just a miscellaneous thing. Hmm. Let's go ahead. Let's do it. I mean, we can use some level ones anyway. So, we picked up a journal here. After years of sailing from Hammerfell to Solstheim and back, Ramadi and I have finally saved enough money to buy that old lighthouse that we spotted on the coast, so we're moving in next month. These Nords really know how to live. It may be cold, but you can't beat the tranquility of watching icebergs to live out your silver years. Ramadi loves the place too, despite the occasional leaky ceiling. Manny and Sunday, unfortunately, seem miserable here. I know the kids are old enough to strike out on their own, but I hope that they'll grow to love the peace and quiet here as, as I have. Manny and Sunday continue to bicker and harass each other, and they seem to have started in on their mother as well. Ramadi keeps finding things missing from the cellar. Sunny said that she heard a noise down there, but Monty just thinks that their mother is going mad from isolation. The very thought of it is ridiculous. She's always wanted to retire here. Sunny keeps saying that she hears scratching coming from the cellar at night, I think. She's just trying to get her mother's goat. But I'd better head into town to get a few traps just in case of skeevers. Should only take a couple days. I just hope that these two go easy on Ramadi while I'm gone. Oh gods. Oh gods, why? I return home to find my beautiful Ramadi killed in this thing. This horrible bug-like creature ransacking our home. I managed to kill the thing. I think it might be a Daedra. I've never seen anything like it. Oh gods, poor Ramadi. It must have come out of the cellar. I'm going down there and locking the door behind me to make sure that they don't escape. I don't know if I'll make it out of this. But I have to save my family. Oh gosh, well. It sounds like a uh, chorus to me. Which, that might be a little bit tricky, this low level. we all see what we can do. Oh, well, yeah. It's ours. I don't know if it looks like a Daedra, but... Still pretty sad. Oh. Sunday's Journal. I hate it here. Why did we have to move to Skyrim anyway? I miss the big port cities. There was always something to do and new people around, or even being cabin girl in one of the ships we used to sail on would be better than this. Monty says that we should run away, but I can't leave mother and father alone out here. Oh, what to do. We've been here for two months now and there's nothing to do. From the top of the lighthouse, all we can see is the call, or we can see all the way to the college winter hold, but father says that magic is for daedra worshippers. Well, <laughs> whoops. The only interesting thing that have happened here lately is that Mother snapped at us during dinner and accused us of stealing things out of the cellar. I did hear scratching down there the other night, but I figured it was just Father cleaning fish. I caught Manny in the cellar a couple days ago, going through some of the barrels and crates. At first I thought it was him all along making those scratches to play a trick on me, but I heard them again last night and Manny was in bed. Father finally said that he'd go get some traps and poison from town in case it's skeevers. I'm really scared. It doesn't sound like skeevers to me. Monty won't listen. He thinks I'm just making up the noises and keeps sneaking into the cellar. Oh, why is he so stupid sometimes? I don't know why he keeps going down there, but I found the cellar key he copied and hid it in Mother's favorite keepsake. So he won't find it. The scratching is getting louder. Okay, well, now we know that there's a key somewhere. Nope. In her mother's favorite keepsake. What a jerkin. Mm. Where, oh where, could you be? If I was a key, <laughs> or a mother's keepsake, really. I want to close green, resist cold, cunning brew me, potion of healing. Let's see. I mean, I doubt it's in, like, a cupboard or something. Let's just go ahead and take all this stuff. We can sell it. Journey Ramadis. We finally did it. We bought the lighthouse. I thought that Hobbs was just making idle promises all these years. What husband doesn't want to promise is that the w wife's the two moons from the sky. But I didn't think we'd actually manage to get it. Now, if I could only find where we put everything. 
I can't find my favorite cooking pot, and it's slightly infuriating. Sunday and Monday seem unhappy, but they're still young and don't seem to understand that we just want to spend a few more years with them before they leave us to see the world. I know they think their father will live forever, but I see his age creeping into his eyes. He made me promise again that when he died, I would put his bones in the lighthouse fire so he could keep a lookout to the ocean forever. Oh, those two get to me sometimes. I went to unpack some of her keepsakes from the trading ships we used to sail, but I can't find them. Hmm, I wonder if that's where... Okay, Sunday keeps saying that she's hearing something in the basement at night, and Manny suggests it was skeevers. I know I hate skeevers. Now I'm too scared to go down there at all. I'm glad I unpacked my favorite urn and put it safely on the mantle before those two started causing mischief. If they put a skeever in the basement, I swear. Okay, so urn. Where's the urn? Let's see. Hold on. Urn, 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 urn. Well. I mean, that's where it has to be, is the urn, right? But where's the urn? I don't know. really don't know. Okay, well, shoot. Hold on. There has to be something somewhere in here. I mean, I guess, I, well, I would say I'd go pick the locks, but ooh, restoration. There we go. Right on. It's not in here, is it? No, but there's septums. I'll take it. Where is the urn? Oh, is it up here? No, that's hunting for Nord Mead. That's a kettle. Nothing in the kettle. <gasps> Where is the urn? Well. Wait. It's not like over here. Oh, torch bug in a jar. Very urn. Golly. Master key, all that. Alright. Ow. Alright. Let's drop a quick save because I'm sure that we're fighting some courses or whatever. I'm out of lockpicks. What do you mean? Oh. Oh, wow. Okay. Ow. There we go. Make sure there's nothing in here of value. Ow. This crap. Something hears me. It has to be a course. Oh, it's a spider! Oh, it's a crystal eater in the world? What is a crystal eater? I can't even see it. What in the blazes? What an oblivion is that? Alright, crystal eater. Ugh. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where did it go? Oh, it spit like ice! What in the world? And that's pretty cool. Crystal eater. I'll take the false salts. Oh, I'm out of long picks. Dead gummit. Alright. I don't know if that's the scratching sounds that they heard, though. Hmm. Alright, I'm not gonna go through all these sacks. I need to install Quick Loot. Frost Flow Abyss. What is in here? Okay. Right, surely he didn't set any traps, like, down here. Is that a fire, or is that a body? Oh! Shit. Oh, they you have poison. Your poison hurts. Something is shooting lightning at me? Falmer? Oh, it's a staff. A staff of lightning bolts. Bolt of lightning that does 25 points of shock. I'll take that. Alright, let's favorite that. Oh, 
Alright. Of course it would be a, f a Falmer. Falm Falmer? One of those. One of those. Okay, where are we going? That staff looks way too big. Um... Not mad at the staff. Alright, cool. It reminds me, there was a mod for Oblivion as well that basically made it where, uh. Oh, crap. Made the staffs better. Unfortunately, I won't be able to, like... Whoops. Let's make that two. Okay. Alright. I won't be able to just, like, hoard gold. This gold weighs. Unless I'm, like, wanting to take perks or something. Falmer shield, bow... Alright, mushrooms... Or mushrooms. Not right, mushrooms. Okay. some alchemy. Alright. I hate spiders. Ugh. Okay. Oh! Uh-uh. I should have expected as such, though. Out. Of course. Okay. <sighs> See, I have that summon, but... Oh, Fury. Yeah! Fight each other. Not fight like you were supposed to. Oh, that was cool. <laughs> All right. Loot that. Heal up. Cool beans. All right. Let's see what are we at weight wise? We're still okay. Whoops. There we go. That poison. Gotta get that poison. I'll put it on my lightning bolt. No, I'm kidding. Uh, well, they should make a mod where like it legitimately like slows you down <laughs> when you go through like spider webs. That's pretty neat. All right, where are we going? Let's see. I came through that way, so I think we're this way. Getting there. A chest, novice, of course. I have no lockpicks. Crap! Something just went invisible. Something just went invisible. Spray for like hope. Crystal either. Okay. Stuff. Right. And we got to level up. All right. Let's see. Probably more magic, actually. So I can have a summon if I do this. I think that's what we're gonna do. Because now, instead of 200-something, this costs 136, which actually is castable. Let's see what this looks like here. Cool. 
Cool, cool, cool. I need the sword. Actually, I'll take the sword. I'm so glad to have a summon. Yeah! That's what I'm talking about. It's totally worth it. Alright. Let's kind of redo this here. We'll do this as one. Fury can be five. Because I, I use summons more and I do illusion magic currently. I'm sure that I will have to change that up a bit. Let's see. Where am I going? Did I not do that right? Ah, I don't believe I did. So, if I go back around. Well. And go like this way. Uh, there's something here. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. This way, and then to the left. That's what we need to do. To the left, to the left. Well, I can't go that way, though. Is that where it's saying I need to go? Yes. I mean, I'm sure I can. It's just getting there again. Okay. Sorry, sorry. Let's go this way. Oh, no. I don't want to go that way. Well, that gum. No, I'm, I'm going to find what has been killing these people and have it kill me. I mean, that's that's the best thing to do, right? So, Alright, that's how we exit. So it has to be up this way. Now let's kind of try to stick to the right. Okay. The, 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 the. Okay. Okay, this way. Also, something else to consider, guys, um, is what to specialize in, especially like on the destruction path, because I am using Ordinator, and that will give us a lot more customization options, but some of the perks that it does are Okay, I think this is the right way. Um, some of the perks that it does are more for, like, uh, special, specializing in one element. And when you specialize in one element, then you can't use any of the other elements, or it's limited, where it doesn't do as much damage. Sorry about that. I don't want to sneeze for a second. Okay. I think... I Yes, this is the way, this is the way, this is the way. Oh my god. Did I live? Am I dead? I'm alive? Oh man, that was scary. Okay. Whew. Okay. Let's see some behind me. Okay. Alright. Gotta find out what's killing him. Awesome. That summon is awesome. All right. All right. With that shimmering effect, the wall. Great. You, you can you can go. Here, I'll, I'll give you a, a push. Just kidding. All right. Ugh. Man. Awesome possum. Okay. All right. Die with fire. Die. I need you to die. I need you to die. Okay. Um, is there another one? No? Okay. You're not a zombie, bro. You're an ancestral guardian. It's time you started acting like one. Okay. I've never been a huge fan of, like, the, the Falmore. Or Falmore Caves or whatever. Okay. 
some of this. Kill. Kill. Oh man. Better you than me, buddy. Better you than me. Yes. Yes. Dude, you were awesome. That was a that was the best perk I could have taken. Took him right there. Okay. <laughs> what? That's a big thing. That's big. Can you take that? I guess we'll find out. Alright, dude. Fresh. Oh my god. What is that? Oh my gosh, dude. Abyss Mother? Oh, you killed my summon, didn't you? You almost did. Oh! No! Uh-uh. Please, have mercy. Have mercy. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is it. This is how I die. <laughs> okay. Different game plan. Different game plan. Okay. All right. I don't know what that's from. That is that vanilla? I don't think that is. Oh, oh let's do it. Okay. I'm just gonna leave you up because you got a couple more minutes. So it's kind of silly of me to do it like that. I'm try to take these guys out first. Are you serious? Are you serious? Okay, hold on. Hold on. Pause. Okay. Run. Run, 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 Way, hide behind something. There, we got it. We got it. Find the source of the murders. My gosh, man. Ooh, that's a nice poison. Oh, dang. That sucks. And we'll take it just because of health. Now, were you guarding a chest or something? Goodness. That was pretty intense. I don't know what that was from, but that was pretty intense. I enjoyed that. <laughs> Got a little bit sidetracked, but that's okay. Again, we have to level up. Because that was a level four. That's all it was, was level four. And that Ancestral Guardian came in clutch. So I'm not mad at that at all. Alright, chest. Another apprentice robe of destruction. That's really heavy. I'm not going to pick that up. A painting. That is from Legacy of the Dragonborn. And we got a new spell. Cool. Pale Shadow. Target enemy is attacked by its own image for 10 seconds. It deals the same damage but has one health. Hey, I... Dude. Don't even think I won't. Like, seriously. Oh, okay. Right on, alright. Go that way to go out. Cool. Well, I feel better. We stopped the murders and all that. And that was intense. Alright. Now, it had a key from What's-His-Name. And I'm pretty sure that is for the other seller. Or the the other place there. So where did I come out of? Up here? Yeah. I knew it! I knew it! I knew it! Oh my gosh. Let's get a summon up just in case. Nope. I don't want to do that. Let's do this. Alright, there we go. Yeah. See what we got. Robes of peerless conjuration. Conjuration and enchantments cost 25% less, All right? Was he a necromancer? No, surely not. 
We'll find out though, because there's something leading up to here, and maybe a chest. Hopefully, a chest. That's the dream. Okay. Oh, it's the lighthouse itself. Yeah. Requires key. I have the key. Necklace of Merit. Armor rating increased by 5%. I don't currently have any armor, but... Wand of Fury. Creatures and people attack randomly. Alright. So, not as good as the spell, but... I'll still use it. When Guardian Levia... No. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> oh, man. I would say let's wait. You know what? Let's, let's wait till day. Just to see the view. Just to see the view. Wow. Yeah. A lot of snow. <laughs> Alright, guys. So! Episode 1 is down. Next time, we will continue going towards to try to search for Jadara in the caverns north of Solitude. In order to do that, we have two choices. We can go directly to it. I'm going to try to do Dawnstar, though. Or at least see if Dawnstar has, like, a uh, carriage or I'll look into maybe adding a mod that adds characters to there. Because I know they exist. Um, yeah, because Solitude is, like, all the way up over kind of in this direction here. But, yeah. I'd say a successful first episode of Many to Come. Don't forget, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Check out the Beyond Reach playthrough. Check out the um, Elysium playthrough if you haven't. We're going to have some more episodes coming out there more pretty soon, and that will be more focused on uh, the main quest and a couple of the side missions more suitable for a warrior, I guess you could say. And this is Frex's Gaming. Signing out.